night at our Boondockers hosts. Um, what did you think about where we stayed? Well, I liked it. The, uh, it is a, a test of your driving ability because you do have to back up. Or you did have to back up about a, it was about a football. 100, 100 feet, they said, or something? It was long. It was about, yeah. a football field, <laughs> about a football field long. Uh, but you're backing up to the river. Yeah, for sure. Not that it was a bad thing. I mean, there's plenty of room. It's like the about a width of a highway lane, so it's not bad. Uh, but there are trees on one side and a fence on the other side, so you got to be careful. It was really nice to have. I mean, we had 30 amp power. We had water. We put our TVs up. Watched a movie last night. Things that we don't get to do when. We're boondocking at a campsite, and we're using flashlights to, to get around. So, oh, thanks, Uncle Larry, for the movie. Yes, yeah, so we'll be returning it to you <laughs> at the other uh, boondockers host. He let us borrow a movie, and we left. <laughs> we have to go that give it back so to him. Good. It was pretty. It was pretty good. It was shot actually in his backyard, uh, yeah. so that's why it was uh, neat to see it. The movie just cause. So anyway, it was a great movie. So, but yeah, it was a good night. It was a good night. We are heading out of Florida and we decided that we are going to go ahead for the weekend and stay two nights at an RV park uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, we have our Passport America membership that allows us 50% off of the rate. So it's only gonna be $15 for us tonight. We figured, if a dump station is charging us $10 to dump it at a Flying J or at an RV park, uh, we might as well pay $15 and get cable and Wi-Fi and water and electric and yeah, the whole got, nine yards. Yeah, we got to clean out our tanks because the indicator lights show that they're all full, which is weird because they're not. Uh, those trees are still smoking. Like that fire just happened. Yeah. So we gotta clean everything out and see what's going on, why they're showing still full. Uh, when you're boondocking, it's it's a challenge not to have those buttons because can you take a bath? Can you take a long shower without it overflowing? And won't have a dump station anywhere near for a few hours. Water's gonna be sloshing back and forth in the uh, shower, so something we gotta do to clean out the. Uh, the tanks just so those meters read correctly and it's a nice reset uh for all of us i mean last night was like if we were at an rv park it was completely right. <laughs> but it would be nice to completely flush out our lines and you know connect again um after so we're not boondocking for the next two nights but after those two nights we do plan to boondock a lot of our way through mississippi um alabama louisiana and then we'll be back in Texas. Uh, so I believe we have one more week, give or take, of our challenge. I gotta look at our days and how long we've been doing this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're, st we're still going. We're still trying to go as much as, as, as we comfortably can. If you like our videos, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Follow our videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Light, camper, action!